Carlson is right over here. Tucker, how are you doing? The host of Talk Soup on the Entertainment, John Henson, right over here. John, how are you? Good to see you. And her next movie is The Calling. Her next CD is Hanukkah and Other Jewish Celebrations. <laughs> Funny intros today. And her next game show is the new match game, Nell Carter. Hello, beautiful. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much for coming. Okay. Well, uh, listen, the big uh, ruling that the Supreme Court handed down before they went away for the summer was about sexual harassment. They laid down the rules. It's been a uh, part of our culture for a while, but they spelled it out. Uh, no biting, no headbutting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Two of my favorites right there. Yeah, uh, but basically what they said is that an employee does not have to lose a job or a promotion to have it be sexual harassment. In other words, uh, I think it used to be the fact that they had to fire you or do something for deny you a promotion. And now they're saying if they just, if someone is on your ass, <laughs> not even uh, literally, that... <laughs> can be sexual harassment, and I want to know what you think about that. Well, uh, you... Next question. We have... <laughs> ah, no, no. Oh, really? You have something? No, I, 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 you need to know what harassment is, because a lot of things, it's just you know, like touching you. Is that harassment? Or someone says, there are some places that if you say you are handsome, that is sexual harassment. Yes. But on, on, but on the other hand, you'll never get laid if you don't say things like that. <laughs> but that's the trouble. <laughs> the fundamental tension, really. Yes, I'm serious. You have to have some dialogue, huh? But, so that's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, exactly, that's exactly the trouble with this whole business of sexual harassment, I think. We brought, in essence, the jungle into a tight place. And nobody ever took account, certainly feminism didn't, that when you bring sexual beauty into a place with a lot of hungry men who, yes, are concentrated on their work, but, you know, when a woman walks down that aisle in the four-foot high heels now and a tight-ass skirt and the barbless four color and whatever... Four-foot high heels. Yeah. I have got to be that <laughs> at the circus. Yeah. So what is supposed to happen? Well, you meant four-inch heels. But even that, who wears the... Who, if you wear four-inch heels at the office... They do. They do. Absolutely. Yes, they do. Yes. Read Vogue magazine. Off, right? Well, I, I personally think... I, well, don't, don't, don't get angry, but I think that you have a right to say no. And if a person does it once, I don't think you have the right to sue them. You have a right, person has, if you come to dress, come there no, with your boobs out, your butt out, and you're leaning over what we can see where God gave country, I think <laughs> that the man has the right to approach you and you should be able to say no and okay, leave it alone. Okay, they say no. They, but they but say that's you not can. what this ruling is exactly. about. This, is, this was a case where a woman sued Burlington Industries because she said she was over and over and over again proposition. It did not... It did not prevent her from getting promoted. She was not fired. In other words, the two things can coexist. You can get promoted, you can keep your job, but if what the Supreme Court said, and I would agree, is that if every day you have to put up with somebody saying, hey, baby, why are we... <laughs> that that is sexual harassment. But where do you draw the line? I mean, how many times... That's, that's I think, the, the crux of the issue. Is At what point do you say, okay, this is the line in the sand, and you can ask me out five times, but six is a crime. You know what I mean? Where I think once a year. <laughs> Quite frankly, I think you should be able to ask no, someone no, out once a year. I th every 12 moons. If you ask them out once a year and they say no, maybe a year later they've had a different... Yeah, but you know, <laughs> but it's, 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 what, in any but job you're going to find someone that you don't like. You, since you, if you're still getting promotion, you know this person's a butthead. You just, you just ignore this person. Oh, come but, on. But, but at scary. the same time, everybody's acknowledged now, it's written, it's said, the, the workplace is the meeting place. It's the meeting and mating place now. People spend extraordinary hours. It's, I think what it often comes down to is that the wrong person is hitting on the person. It happens. There are bad men, but let us quickly say there are bad women. And sexual harassment yes. has been set up against men and for women, and that's wrong. Big bad women can harass men just as badly as the opposite. I wow. Well. Except it's, except it's not.
Except it's not true. I mean, I, you know, I, I hate to defend sexual harassment law, but, uh, you know, it is hard to imagine a woman going around playing grab ass with men and that's, all. Yeah, yeah. Don't that's 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 grab ass. I disagree. I imagine oh, yeah. that on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> that's completely wrong. I just like yeah. to say that I agree with men. With <laughs> You see, I, I do. <laughs> Women's form of harassment is lawsuits that are unjustified. That is their form of harassment. But don't give me that, that women harass men. That's why that movie with Demi Moore and Michael Douglas was such a bunch of BS, because it was the woman harassing the man, which doesn't happen. It does happen. But, but see, what the it point... Does, oh, please. It does happen. <laughs> That's man's problem. Demi Moore and, insists on screwing it. And as more women... <laughs> More women, if more women get higher positions, you're going to have more of reverse sexual harassment. And the trouble is that men are not going to tell about it as readily as women do. Men, I think the last <laughs> so thing they're going to tell about it then. more. Are you kidding? <laughs> <They're gonna be> like, <laughs> you have been in a locker room, but I think part of the problem with this is it requires employers to bring in outside counselors to explain to their employees what yeah. exactly sexual okay. harassment is. That's We'll get to that in a second. We can't start the seminar now, but we will have a seminar. If you're planning to be in the Los Angeles area and would like free tickets to Politically Incorrect, call 213-852-2655. Okay. Sexual harassment, and you were, I cut you off. You were going to say. I believe there is, men are harassed daily. You're just too men, chicken to, uh, to, to admit it. We are harassed daily? You are, yes. You have harassment. When you have a girlfriend, but we don't think, think of about that it. as harassment. Oh, well, why do you complain? When you have a girlfriend and you want her to get lost, you want another woman, and this woman won't leave you alone, what is that? Cheating? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? You have a girlfriend and you want her to get lost? Well, you know, when you break up and the women won't leave oh, you alone. Oh, stalking, yes. <laughs> that's stalking. That's also against the law. And but, that's, right. You know, I mean, Carly, I'm coming. You, you, I'm, look, look. But this is about the office. This is about the office. I mean, if she's coming down to the office, that yeah, chick's got a lot of eggs. Look, I mean, nobody's going to... There aren't, you know, there, it's just not a problem that men experience, you know, when women dressed as construction workers grabbing them or making yeah. suggestive <laughs> remarks. It just doesn't happen. Women are just yeah. not as sexually aggressive in that way as men, and that's just... The but it isn't just I'm sexual sorry. aggression. A woman boss can say, I think you'd better stay a little late tonight, and then perhaps we could have supper well, that, or what. Like How often is that happening? Not, How yeah, I mean, you don't like work in an office, Bill. I never thought these exactly. stories were true until it happened to me. Exactly. I'm a sophomore at a small Midwestern <laughs> university. And the other day, there was a knock at my door. Exactly. This, you know, with the guy at the truck stop. I mean, how many of us are getting it there? It just well. doesn't happen. I don't know where you're getting it. A this, lot of you, you are getting it there. I mean, I'm, well, so, well, I don't think George women Michael. are really. <laughs> Straight guys are getting lucky in truck stops. How can this is so funny? Women always think we're getting more than we are. Well, that's what I want to kill us. You do, who but would know better? You or us? Uh, we would know because we're waiting. smart. Because you're mean, smart, you're not we there. Are smart, yeah. Well, maybe you're smart, but you're not there. No, but see, we don't think it is. You're not that smart. No. You no, all no. think that we're getting more than we are because you all think that you're the only ones who are ho upholding sanctity and virginity. You think everyone else is a slut. No, but it all goes back to childhood, Bill. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> women it's think only it all goes back to adolescence. In what? adolescence, you all, we sit home and wait. Alas, that hasn't really changed all that much. Girls sit home and wait. We never get over all that stuff where it begins. Boys are out prowling the streets. Boys get to make the phone calls. Granted, you get rejected a lot. But at least you get to make the overture. We have to sit and wait. You get to lead the girl to bed. We should be doing that more, you all. And, and, but, and but of you're... course we think you're getting more. And you have prostitutes you can go to. You have sex all yeah. over the place. <laughs> I mean, that's sort of a... Well, that, yeah, that's yes, a radical well, Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, I mean... It really is. Uh, I really think what are you that doing an unfair advantage <laughs> that men have. Like, oh, you always got that hooker out, you know. <laughs> Everybody can scrape together a 20, you know? I mean. And also because you don't get pregnant, you don't have to worry about having a lot of sex. Women have to always be on the watch, you know, protect our sons. I am ourselves constantly worried about having a lot of sex. <laughs> you don't think we're as worried about pregnancy as you are? 
I don't think you're as worried about pregnancy as we are. Me, personally? <laughs> well, Bill, I promise you, Look I am more worried than you are about pregnancy. <laughs> well, would you care to tell me now, or should we talk about this after the show? I don't understand what you mean. I don't want a child. I'm not married. I'm worried about pregnancy. Well, are you seeing only one woman, then? Let's go to commercial. <laughs> Back to the issues. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Now, uh, here's one in Detroit, and sort of on what we're talking about, but a different angle on it. Okay, they are giving away, the county is, cell phones to women who are victims of domestic abuse. And opponents of this say it is conceding the war. In other words, if a woman is being wailed on by her husband, she's got the phone, it's preset to 911, so there she just has to hit the button, and there the cops will at least hear her call. But, I mean, isn't it kind of saying to a woman, look, you know you're going to get hit anyway, have a phone. <laughs> As opposed to saying to her, why don't you get out of the house and leave the bunk? Right, or why not issue them guns, I mean, or something like that. I mean, look, there are a lot of people <laughs> who are, I mean, why not issue... I can make a call, I mean... Exactly. Yeah. Well, no, no, but why not issue cell phones to cab drivers or liquor store owners? I mean, there are a lot of people who face violent crime. Yep. I mean, it, it but is But how about of, issuing yeah. phones to, to men who suffer uh, abuse? You know, the figures, the figures, studies have been done. Oh, countless, countless Look, studies. Look, you are abuse. Yes, yes. You, you are obsessed, obsessed with this preposterous idea <laughs> that women are hitting on, harassing, and beating Absolutely. up men. You are out Absolutely. of your mind if you think that that's a problem. Well, country. I'll tell you what I hate. I just hate this whole business that's been going on for years of women as victims. It's terrible for us. It's terrible for it to be hammered home again and again and again. No, it becomes not. a self-fulfilling prophecy. But women are Hold victims on. of men being bigger and stronger and hitting them. And men aren't victims of the reverse. Oh, yes, they That's are. The, oh. Studies show all oh, these damn studies. Well, but then they, they do should go to the gym and work they out. Get hit as often, <laughs> they get hit as often as the women do. That women are it doesn't as often, hurt as much. Huh? You think that the last thing that is left to define a man is separate from a woman is to say that he is strong and tough and will not admit to being no, abused. I think the idea of a man being beaten up by a girl is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Oh. Oh. I, 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 I please. It is ridiculous. It's part and parcel of this ridiculous and Leona syndrome Babbitt? we have in this country. And Leona Everybody Babbitt? has to be equal in everything. What about That's Leona what Babbitt? It comes from. Everybody Leona has Babbitt cut off his penis. Not only cut it off, she took it with her in the car and threw it in a field. A rare case. Oh, well, wait, you don't, wait. You don't want to accept reality. It's so far. I think, I really think that it's really necessary. I, I, I speak because I was a battered child. I think that the the going on with what they want to do is to make the woman testify i think if you're being battered and you want to give this man a chance uh you should have that phone well it only dials 911 it's not dialing anything else you could you should give, be able to get help instead of instead of spending that money on giving cell phones to people wouldn't that money be better spent uh, you know setting up some sort of a community center or where these people you know, I get get why do you work? think Don't women are beating up men and that's a big problem because I really women, want to know about women that. are bloody angry do you know look at me I'm a big five foot ten woman I'm intelligent whatever do you know who scares me more than anybody women women scare me far more than men scare me always oh, have women. I love women <laughs> women are bizarre, I, you know, bizarre. <laughs> Where were you, were you not raised by a woman? What? The first woman in my life was my mother. I loved her and I also feared her. We all do because she can punish us. I have never her. physically never get over heavy it. for me, but I, I think the bottom line is that, I mean, not to criticize your childhood, but I mean, I think that <laughs> the notion that, that women are going around beating up men or that you have to fear a woman yeah. lurking in an alley or something, I mean, yeah. it's sort of an appealing thought on one level, but I just don't think it actually happens. Have you gone to the gym lately? <laughs> women, are, oh, yeah. women are tough. Women are rough. And we've been angry for a long, long time. What are you angry They're about? They're not tough and rough. They're I mean, not. I've never in my adult life feared a woman physically. Really? really? Emotionally. <laughs> Emotionally, lawsuits, pregnancies. Let's not go back there. <laughs> but but I, not physically. I would say maybe that's because of the women you picked then. You're right. I'm not going out with the boxing, the female <laughs> boxy boxing champion. When you arrange your mom, you. Come on.
Your what? mom, when you were little, your mom, when your dad's a But I'm not sister, little now. Come on, Nick. But that's how you grow. You, you now, learn you know everything from zero are. to three. But that's some listen Freudian stuff. stuff. I mean, that's listen not reality, reality no. now. Listen, I mean, uh, listen, listen to Nell. From Nell knows zero to help. three, a child is, is capable of learning everything. It's at three when you start screwing the child's life up. The child doesn't know hate, doesn't know bias, it doesn't know, it can learn languages, it can learn, the child can do anything. What does that have to do with <laughs> women beating up <laughs> men? That's and the the whole point child, is anyway. Well, I have two eight-year-olds that I can prove it by, but I'm saying your mother is the first one to hit you behind. That's right. Now, and that's but what we're you not talking up. about your mother. We're talking about your girlfriend <laughs> yeah. hitting your behind. Right. We're talking about your mother. And I God, want, if she just would. We're talking about your mother. Your face. Right. Okay, what, what I want to know is why are you men so reluctant to accept the fact that women can Because we're both. not nuts like you. <laughs> <laughs> we're not reluctant. Oh, we just are. live in the real world. Have you ever been beat up by a woman? I, uh, not How many men in this audience have a, have a problem hit. with women beating the crap out of them? No, I didn't say that. Is there any man in this audience? Please, we're going to have our support group it's after the hit. show, and then we're going to get some hookers with that 20. <laughs> <laughs> Say the men who are beaten up by is women the first defense against reality. He doesn't want to admit reality. He's making a joke of it. I'm, I'm not, not saying the play 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 play. I think there's only one way to solve this, <laughs> and you two are going to have to go at it on the playground. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's, all right, we have to take a commercial. We'll be right back.